everybody, it's Luca from Rackets and Runners. Um, as you can see, not in the studio, not even in uh, Vancouver right now. Actually, we're not even in Canada. We're in, we're in Marbella. Um, Jonas from Tennis Nerds on the other side of the camera. That's, that's his hand. Um, so yeah, we uh, just played on, on clay courts. I haven't played on clay courts in a really long time, so this was a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, really nice hit. It's like 20 degrees right now in Vancouver. It's six and raining, so more than happy to be here. Yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a different video today. Um, we're gonna do a sort of what's in my bag because it sounds like a great idea for a video. Hey guys, so uh, another crazy tennis nerd guy here. Happy to join your video, happy to have a hit, it was fun. It's always fun when people come to Marbella in Spain and, and yeah. play tennis with me, I always enjoy it. And we obviously talk a lot about rackets. So I, as reviewers, it's actually kind of interesting because I always take out a bunch of rackets to the court and he's kind of the same way because you kind of need a baseline of where the feel is and, and whatnot. So pretty cool. All right, everybody. So as you can see, I have since left Marbella. I'm actually visiting some friends in Toledo, farther up in the north near Madrid, going to watch uh, Real Madrid tonight, which is going to be super cool. But we're going to talk a little bit about the rackets that we brought to the court when we were playing the other day. Um, there's some that we won't be able to talk about because they are not yet available. And the ones that we do talk about are kind of there to help play test those rackets, at least on my end. But yeah, that was an awesome hit in general. Jonas is a super cool guy. I was super excited to meet him, obviously. And uh, yeah, we just had a great time. He's gonna post a video on his channel, I believe, so I'm gonna try not to have too much overlap. But yeah, we're gonna talk about the rackets that we had. Uh, and then a little bit later, I'm gonna talk about what else goes on in my tennis bag. What I brought today to the court uh, was the Pro Stock. This is a Looks like a Prestige MP, the Utic uh, iteration, and uh, it's not really. It's a PT57A, that's a Head Pro Tour 630 or 280 if you're in North America. This is the racket I bring. I have three of these, really love them, uh, but it's not going to give you anything for free. Uh, I'm not really the player to use it, but I, I do love it, so it's about having fun after all. And then I have this as a guilty pleasure. It's the first generation of the Aero Pro Drive. It's the original edition, as we call it. It's uh, what Rafa uses underneath all these different types of paint. And uh, it's just uh, maybe the best arrow. I do, do like 2023, can really recommend that one. Outside that one, this one is great. Yeah, so, so I've got the, the Pure Strike, which is soon to be the old Pure Strike. That's kind of why I brought it to, to Europe. I wanted to test this before the next one that I can't show you comes out. Um, but yeah, he was just briefly talking about the PT57A. Some of you have maybe noticed this in my videos. I make a lot of references to the Pro Tour 280. Uh, that's the Pro Stock version of that racket. The Pure Strike, uh, I don't know. We had, I had a lot of fun playtesting it right now. It's, a, the, it's a great stick still, and it's been a, a kind of. It's not Babla's bestseller by by any means because they have Aero and and Drive that are such popular icons in the game. But it's still a very good racket if you want more control, but you still want a bit more pop than you get from these typical prestigious or or kind of pro staffs that you have on the other brands. You know? Yeah, I mean we were we were just hitting, and I I do love playing with like a blade or a prestige or something. But but Jonas was talking about how I was playing really well with this because yeah, 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 yeah. it gives you a lot more for free than those those rackets. A lot more power. There's quite a bit of swing weight in the strike. Um, I kind of, I, I was sleeping on this racket for the past, uh, it's been four years that it's out, yeah. so it's not as hyped as, as, as it was anymore. Um, but really nice stick. Can't really talk about the update. Uh, so yeah. So there you go. Those are some of the rackets that we brought to the court. Honestly, there were quite a few more. Um, and generally speaking, I'll have more than just one racket in my bag, especially when I'm play testing, just because I like to get a baseline for feel. We are gonna switch up gears a little bit. I wanna do a full what's in my bag type of video. So I'm gonna talk about the other stuff that goes on because there's a lot of important stuff in my tennis bag that I use pretty much every time I go out that I just don't get a chance to talk about during the review. So I'll kind of do a little bit of that in this video. But yeah, I'll go back to uh, back to the court. We're gonna talk about what is in my tennis bag on a, on a regular basis. We're gonna start with the, the racket compartment then we're gonna kind of go through. Um, well, first of all, we have a nice little uh, airport bag tag there because I was flying. Um, but yeah, right now, the, the racket that I'm playing with is the old Pure Strike. Can't talk much about the new Pure Strike, but it's kind of why I have the old one in my bag because there's, there's another racket in there as well. And then kind of go into another compartment. Sometimes there's rackets in this compartment, but since I'm on a trip, I was trying to travel light in the racket in the racket department. So I got a bunch of shorts, um, Adidas shorts. I don't really know how to pronounce this brand. LS, LS shorts. Then I got my favorite, my favorite tops, uh, the Nike, the Nike ones. I'm wearing one right now. This is another one. I know they're a little wild, but they just fit really nice. And I'm a big fan of those. I got the, the Wilson collared stuff is also really cool. Fits, fits very well. Collar is always nice. Maybe a little bit too much for 
your everyday hitting session. But and then, uh, yeah, it is it is getting a little bit colder right now, so kind of want a little zip up. As you can see, I haven't worn this because there's still a tag on it. So um, white on clay, a little risky, but it is nice because it's 20 degrees right now, so I'll probably put it on soon. And then just a pair of socks. Always nice to have a few and then a pair of new socks. My favorite are features. Feel absolutely wonderful on your feet. A pair of nice premium socks is one of the best upgrades you can make because you will not get blisters and uh, they just feel fantastic. Not the cheapest, but really, really good. Another pair of features. Obviously a towel. Uh, I sweat a lot, that's why I play with Turner Grips. Towel comes in really handy when I do think about using it, especially in the summer when it's like 25, 30 degrees out and sweating up a storm. Foam roller, actually it's not really a foam roller, it's kind of like a half foam roller, half normal roller. Playing tennis, pickleball four times a week, you get really tight. I know I'm still young, uh, I'm 25 years old if you guys didn't know that about me, but muscles are getting a little bit tighter, rolling them out helps a lot. But this thing after a session feels fantastic. Obviously we got balls, now these aren't clay court balls so we weren't using these today. Uh, my favorite balls, actually this might be interesting for some of you. I play with Babylon Gold Championships every time I go out to hit. Keeping things uh, nice and controlled is always good, and these are my favorite favorite balls. And then the last compartment here, I actually lost the little zippy thing in transit. Got Turner Grips. Can't say enough good things about these. Every time I try to play with something other than a Turner Grip, I just I have to go back because it's like a chamois where it just sticks to your hand once you get a little moisture on it. Um, huge fan of Turner Grips. And then... Finishing tape, I'm always changing grips. Finishing tape is fantastic. Obviously you have some that comes with the grips, but always nice to have a bit more. I always need a leather grip. I pretty much play test every, pretty much play test every racket with a leather grip. I, I just need, need the stability to, to play my best. So I need one. I always have like some loose ones lying around. Uh, and then finally got energy. So electrolytes, fantastic when you're sweating. And then chews. I do a lot of cycling, and there's a word in cycling we use called bonking. Uh, that's when you just completely run out of energy stores. It happens less on the tennis court, but when it does, fast energy is the best way to kind of replenish that. And then, a bit of sunscreen. So that's, uh, that's what's in my bag on a regular basis. Probably a, a few less pieces of clothes on a regular basis, just because I'm traveling right now. Um, got a lot in my tennis bag. But yeah, those are, those are the essentials. Um, probably be back somewhere else for the end of the video. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. And that was kind of a cool little collaboration with uh, Tennis Nerd and I. I would be 100% down to collab again because, you know, going to the south of Spain in the middle of winter, not technically winter, but yeah, that's something I am definitely down for. I'm going to link all the product that I talked about in this video in the description. So go check it out. Obviously not the PT57A or the Aero Pro Drive. Um, but yeah, and then obviously, as usual, remember that anything we talk about on this channel, you can check out on our website, racketsandrunners.ca.